All right, guys, this is the finished product. It's got the double swing hinges. Remember, we used to just use a gate, a baby gate, leaned up against the wall here to keep the dog from going down. So now we can. Gotta figure out the best part of this board to get three two inch wide pieces out of it. Okay, we'll plane that down and then we'll rip it, rip the boards to the two inch size. We'll just plane it in one piece. I don't know if you've seen me use this in uh, any other videos. I don't really like to use it. It's, I mean, it's good in that you can fix warped wood, but it's just not convenient. I didn't really have fun building it. Um, it wasn't hard to build, it just wasn't something that was fun to do. This board has a wobble in it. These are all threaded on bolts so I can shim it by adjusting there. I put it on and the wobble's gone so I can put it through the planer, get a flat surface that I can flip it over and use this to do the other side.
you go. You saw the wobble in the board before. There's no wobble, so we fixed it. It's an inch and a half thick. That's what I was checking with the gauge. That's where we want it. <coughs> okay, I've got it laid out how I'm going to um, assemble it. Uh, these are all equal distances. Um, I kind of tried it a few different ways, and, and this is what I settled on. I also decided just to that these were all going to be the same width, so they're going to be flush. It's there's not going to be a recess. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to biscuit each one of these in using the smallest biscuit I have. It was either going to be biscuits or dowels, and this biscuit just fits. So that's what we're going to use. So the way this is laid out is this is one board. Well, this is all from one board. But this section was cut and split. If you put these together, the grains match up. If you slide all these together, the grains match up. This, up, this is a gate that I've been intending to build for years and finally just decided I was going to do it. So I want to get it done. Um, I've said it a hundred times probably in videos. Well, probably not that many. I might be exaggerating a touch. Sorry about the furnace. Um, but I get bored with stuff pretty quick. You can see I was working on a table. I planed these. I kind of screwed up. These should have been, shouldn't have been planed down smooth. They should have stayed rough sawn. You can see those there. Uh, that disappointed me, so I want to move on to something different. I'll come back and fix that and, and do it all right, but I just, I get, I get bored of stuff. Um, frustrated, bored, whatever you want to call it. So something different. This is quick and easy. I'm just going to be done with it. I'm done rambling on. I know I do that a lot. Let's get the biscuit joiner going. goes down here. This piece goes up here. Alright guys, well that clamp up was a bit of an adventure, getting those spindles in there. 
I got in a bit of a hurry and I think that cost me, but uh, all in all it'll turn out alright. Um, I still have to sand it and finish it, so, but that won't happen until tomorrow. Hey guys, so you can see I've already stained this. Uh, I was having uh, camera issues. It was not recognizing memory cards, and I didn't have the time to wait to try to figure it out. It's working now. So I got a, a coat of clear coat on here, sap. I used early American stain. So I'm just going to do a light sanding and put another coat of clear coat on. gate isn't going to go from jam to jam in the doorway. There's going to be like three and a half inches or four and a half inches, I don't remember now, um, between the end of the gate and the end of the jam because we have a cap that has to be able to squeeze through down the stairs to go down the stairs. I don't want the dog going down there. Yeah, it has to be able to get down there. So this is just a deterrent for the dog. I'm just going to use the sack. We're gonna let that dry and we'll flip it over and do the other side. This, I didn't film this because it is a tight space and it was a two person job getting these hinges mounted on here. I probably could have done it if I had rigged some stuff up, and, but that would have taken a lot more time than just getting uh, help from the second person. 
but it was these putting these on is definitely much easier with two people. Um, it's difficult with one person. So if you're going to use those, there's a tension adjusters on here. Then we needed to adjust the tension quite a bit because this is a pretty heavy gate. So that's there we go. This is the hardware, the brand that we used for the gate. I'll just show you kind of the tension here. You get your finger in there. It's going to hurt. That's why it's kind of a two-person job. To set the tension, you put a little rod in there that they supply. You twist it this way and you pull that pin out. And you can either loosen it by letting it go back and setting the pin in or you keep pulling it this way and set the pin and it just increases the tension a little bit at a time. But it's then you have to do the opposite side to mount it to the wall. That's why it's a two person job. Another project complete. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.